Hello students. Today we will solve worksheet of chapter number 11 Jacks and Marks. Complete the following table according to the example given. Example is 1 liter equals to 1000 millimeter with milliliters. We all know that 1 liter equals to 1000 milliliters. We can also call it 1 liter that is we can denote liter as L 1 L equals to 100 ml. So let us complete this table. Question number 1 that is half a liter. Right? So half of 1000 milliliter. So half into 1000 milliliter. So if we we'll solve it, we will get 1000 divided by 2 that is equals to 500 ml. In the same way, 3 fourth liter 3 fourth is equals to 3 by 4 then 3 fourth liter that is 3 by 4 multiplied by 1000 ml that will be equals to 1000 divided the uh, 3000 divided by 4 we have to multiply 3 with 1000 and the denominator will be the same so 3000 divided by 4 will be 750 ml now 1 fourth liter 1 fourth we can write 1 fourth like this and 1 fourth liter 1 fourth multiply by 1000 ml that will be 1000 divided by 4 and that will be 250 ml 2 liters will be 2 multiply by 1000 ml that will be equal to 2000 ml 2 and a half liter right 2 liter we have find out uh, in serial number 4 that is 2000 ml and half liter in the serial number 1 we have found out that it is 500 ml that is 2000 ml plus 500 ml that is equal to 2500 ml 3 liter so 3 multiplied by 1000 that will be 3000 ml 5 and a quarter liter so 5 liters we know that is 5000 ml and quarter liter so quarter liter is half of half that is half of 500 that is equal to 250 ml so that will be equals to 5250 ml 5 and a quarter liter 6 liters that is 6 multiplied by 1000 ml that will be 6000 ml 7 liters 7 multiplied by 1000 ml that will be 7000 ml 8 liters that will be 8 multiplied by 1000 ml that will be equals to 8000 ml Which container holds the most liquid? Take the correct figure. So here you can see three containers. That is teapot. So which teapot contains the most tea? You can see the teapot containing tea. So in the teapot number one, it contains the most tea. Right. Which glass holds the most juice? So here you can see that the glass in the middle holds the most juice. Which mug holds the most coca? So you can see three mug. So the mug which is holding most coca is this one. Which bottle holds the most bubble bath? The bottle which holds the most bubble bath is this one. Which glass holds the least juice? So this time we have got to find out most. This time it is least. So it will be this one. Which bottle holds the most bubble bath? Will be this one. Which glass holds the most juice? This one. Which bottle holds the least bubble bath? This one.
solve the world problems miss honey pot mrs honey pot uses six glasses of water to make one jug of juice how much of water will she use to make three jugs of juice so here two things two containers and uh, two things are given that is jugs and glasses so one jug if we use one jug water we can make six glasses sorry we use one jug of uh, for one jug of juice we have to use six glasses of water so we have to find out for three jugs so for three jugs how much we don't know so what we will do we will multiply the numbers in the cross so these two numbers will multiply and this number will go into the division right so 3 multiply by 6 divide by 1 so 3 6 are 18 classes will be the answer the label on the bottle suggests that i use one part of orange squash to far for two five parts water if i put seven cups of orange squash into a jug how much water should i add so say this orange squash and water one part of orange squash for and five parts of water so if seven orange squash seven part of orange seven cups of orange squash is used how much water will be we have to find out so seven and five are uh, is to be multiplied the number which are in the cross and one will be we will put one into denominator so seven five are multiplied by seven multiplied by five upon one that will be 35 cups a bottle holds two liters of water david opens a new bottle and drink half
you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel thank you and have a nice day